Human papillomavirus is the most common sexually transmitted infection. If you've had three sexual partners in your life, you have gotten an HPV infection. It's, it's that prevalent. It's in most people, like 80 to 90 percent, HPV is harmless. Your body clears it in a year or two. But some can't, and certain types of HPV can lead to genital warts or cancer. Cancers of both men and women's genitals, the cervix of a woman's uterus, anal cancer, and oral cancer. Oral cancer is the most concerning because that's been rising in incidence over the last 10 to 20 years, probably related to our sexual practices. There are usually no outward signs or symptoms of HPV infection, nor is there treatment to get rid of the virus. That's why regular pap smears and genital exams are so important. Caught early, precancerous lesions are treatable. But there are no similar oral screenings for infection. Both doctors Michael Hagency and Huey Lean at LSU Health Sciences Center study HPV infection. Uh, around like a 20 percent of the U.S. women have infected with a high risk HPV. That means they are in they are the high risk uh, group for developing cervical cancer. And Dr. Lean's latest research also uncovered that women with HPV that lingers have lower levels of four antioxidants, vitamins A, B2, E, and folate, and the blood protein albumin. It is affected by the protein intake. Uh, the protein we, we eat. So eat foods with protein, nuts, eggs, dairy, meats, along with fruits and vegetables, and a multivitamin may help. It might be that these good dietary choices make your immune system better able to get rid of the virus. What a great way to maybe help prevent cervical cancer by just having you know, you know, changes in your diet. And these are changes in your diet that you should probably have anyway. And for another defensive move to prevent HPV cancers, Dr. Hagency recommends vaccines like Gardasil that protect against nine types of HPV. They're only approved now for nine to 45 year olds. And although they're best given at a younger age, he believes middle-aged and older people at risk could benefit from the vaccines too. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. And the doctor says condoms do help prevent the spread of HPV.